So in my little safety cubby, which is also right next to my kiddos' backpacks, um, I have, so that's where I store the Barracuda normally, it just kind of sits like that so I have easy access to it at all times. Same with the bat. And then inside I have two backpacks. Now this is the one that's given to us by the school or district, whatever. This is what we use for like fire drills when we practice um, evacuating the school for whatever kind of emergency they think that we need. That one goes on top because obviously I use that one more. I hope I never have to use this one and I hope it literally collects dust like it has been. So gross. But this is my active shooter intruder backpack. Now my brother and my dad actually helped put this one together and there's a lot of stuff inside of it, but it makes it easy to use. And it has stuff in there that could save your life. So we added, my mom sewed on this Velcro here because the straps were um, originally buckles, like regular buckles. And we just figured that when you're in a true emergency, you're gonna be shaking, your adrenaline is going and you're not gonna be able to fit the buckles um, inside of the class fast enough. So we just used Velcro. That way you could just slap on the sleeves, close it and run. Um, on the inside, I have a bunch of medical supplies that my dad got me. And we've got tourniquets, different kinds of tourniquets in here. This will stop any major bleeding. We've got these ones also. You basically wrap it around, um, loop the the bandage through here and then you turn this as tight as possible to stop the bleeding um so i have different tourniquets in here this is kind of what it looks like because it's now this one's open yeah, it's getting stuck to the other one but this is the tourniquet that i have looks like this and you twist this thing that looks like a pen and it makes it tighter and it stops whatever bleeding is happening <laughs> 